Maybelline cover girl for certain And my body on point They be like who should search it What's up y'all It's your girl Marlisha And today we back with another video As you can see by the title I'm about to name a few red flags To look out for when you are dating In your 20s And yeah we gotta keep the girls together Because that's one of the hardest One of my hardships In my life is these men Okay and as of right now, I am single. As of right now, I'm not dating and I'm not looking. I'm just taking some time to myself. But I will say that since I started dating when I was 17 till now, the same things, the same red flags in the same way that I should have been new. But I was like, mm, you know, I'm being dumb. So we're not on that 2022 and for the rest of our lives. So keep watching this video and I'm gonna get y'all on game. First things first. The first, first, first red flag. And after this red flag, I feel like my hands look dirty. But anyway, after this red flag, you need to cut them off, okay? It's not even nothing in between. If everything is good, and then he starts having an attitude, starts replying late, starts being dry, cut it off. And don't ask your friends, don't ask your parents, don't ask your family, don't ask nobody, cut it off. And I understand y'all like, why, why, you know, you know, you can be cutting off the one. And even if that is the one, you will still know. Cut that man off, okay? Don't sit around and wait for nobody to show you that they're uninterested. What are you doing when you are interested? When I'm uninterested, I stop replying. That's one of the main things that I do. So I can't take it as, well, maybe he's having a bad day. Well, maybe he's doing this. No, he's uninterested, okay? <laughs> Look at yourself and look at how you treat people when you don't like people in comparison to your partner. And if he is showing you signs that you usually, you know, he's not interested in you. And I know it's hard to like accept because it's like, you know, like, oh, I, I like him. But that's how it is in life, you know? We 20, we in our 20s. So I'm actually 22, I'm not 20, but we in our 20s, if you're watching this. And if you're not in your 20s and you're about to be in your new dating, let me just say, we about to meet a lot of people at this age, we young, fine, and turned. So we finna meet a lot of people. So who cares? Like one didn't work, next. <laughs> Attitude, inconsistency, mm-mm, okay? If he always is with his friends, and look, now don't be insecure now, because sometimes, yeah, hang out with your friends. But if it's, if it's like noticeably a problem for you, and I hate to break it to you, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. If he always spends time with his friends and he never really makes time with you, you noticing that he's spending more time with his friends, cut him off, okay? It's time to cut it off. We want consistent kings who make us feel valued, which leads me to my next one. If you are unsure and you ask one time and he shows you and he tells you something good, seek that. And you start to look for it and you realize that he's still not giving it to you, give him about a week or two. And he's still not doing the same thing, red flag, cut him off. He doesn't want to do with you. He doesn't want to be with you, but he want to keep you around. And we are not wasting our time in our 20s. We young, fine, and turn. I'm gonna keep saying it because y'all need to know it. So yeah, mm, yeah. If he's acting like that, I hate to break it to you. He's uninterested in you. And he might be interested in his friends. Whether it's his homeboys or his homegirls, you know? DL men pry on women who, uh, I know y'all probably like, what? But yeah, DL men pry on women who don't know their worth. And that's why I'm shooting this video because we about to know our worth. If you don't already. Next. If he makes spending time with you a chore, like something that he has to do, and he's not engaging in it, he doesn't look forward to it, he's complaining about it. Let me do the nail that's painted. Cut him off. Cut him off. We don't want nobody doing nothing that they don't want to do. We're not forcing anything because we don't need to. Okay? We are elegant black queens, and if you if you white, you know, uh, elegant white queen as well. 
if you Latin, tell you Latin queen, we love a good, we love a good Latin queen, okay? If you, whatever race you are, we queens, okay? We are women, and we hold the power. So, we don't need to force anything. We don't need to pry anybody. We don't need to try, 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 try. This is our shit, okay? This is our world. <laughs> We create, we create, we created this. So don't deal with that. Do not put yourself in a position where you need to bow down or beg anybody. This is your life, okay? If somebody don't wanna be here, somebody don't wanna spend time with you, somebody don't wanna value you, somebody don't wanna be around you, if somebody making you feel like being with you is like draining the worst thing in the world, cut them out the palace. Y'all gotta go. <laughs> no negative vibes in this palace, okay? If he does not introduce you to his friends, it's definitely a red flag. And they'd probably be talking shit about you. They'd be talking stuff about you. And his friends are not your friends. So, they're the ops. <laughs> I keep telling y'all. <laughs> the friends is the ops, okay? They don't like you. They telling him to go cheat. They encouraging him to go cheat, girl. He is talking to somebody else. If y'all don't go on dates, yeah yeah it don't have nothing to do with work it don't have nothing to do with busy if y'all not going on dates and i mean like fun dates like not just out to eat that's not a date if y'all not going on dates mm, yeah i hate to break it to you but i hate to break it to you but no he's talking to somebody else this he is He's not putting no effort. He's too comfortable. He's lazy. Even if he's not talking to nobody else, he is the definitely not putting enough energy in it for you. And you need a king that's going to make sure that he is pleasing you. He is running out of breath trying to please you. Kissing the ground you walk on. And don't let the world convince you that you will never find that because of your position in life. Because y'all know what love looks like. That whole couple that's still in love with each other. That exists. But it's from women who know they work. Men know. You not get no ass. Next. The next thing is, if every time y'all hang out, y'all do do. That's a red flag. Because it's just like... I'm bored. I'm bored at it. <clears throat> I don't want to do it no more. Like, <sighs> he's just coming over here for that. And we don't need that because honestly, is he even good at it? The dude that you sit in here watching this video for, is he even good at it? That's another thing. If he's not making an effort to make sure that you are good, <laughs> he don't care about you. He not trying. I'm over it and I'm over this video <laughs> because really. So yeah, if he is not making an effort, if every time y'all hang out, he is trying to do the do and he's not passionate in the do, he does not like you for real. That's a red flag. That's a red flag. If he has not posted you, if y'all hang out, he don't post you. He ain't got no trace. And don't let these men tell you they're not using social media right now. Because I guarantee you, when you post a bomb picture, he either got you muted when you're his girlfriend or whatever. You post a bomb picture, he gonna be the first person in the views. He might not be in the likes, but he's in the views. And it's because he's on social media, but he's talking to somebody else. And this is how you need to think, because if you don't, then you're going to be stuck in the same position that we just got out of. And by we, I'm talking about me. But since y'all are part of my journey, we a team, and we going through this together. If you don't, don't be like me, okay? I was with that man for eight months. He never posted me. We went to the same restaurants. We never went out to eat. But we went to the same restaurants. Like, he was not trying. He was not putting no effort toward me. He had an attitude all the time. And that's why I understand what JT said when she was like, I'm not dealing with no man that it's like 
not buy me nothing that's how i'm gonna put it better signs because they do be having attitudes who wants to be around a man with an attitude all the time if he's not kind to you if he's rude if he's talking to you crazy you better go while you can why are you watching this video go you is 20 and fine and you better have a baby now if you have a baby sis you could still leave him alone you <laughs> Men love a baby mama because they know that baby is gonna make a fire. Okay, so just understand that you can have anybody that you want if you did end up having a kid with this fucking jerk. Go get tested, go take a pregnancy test, go to the doctor and get your women checked up. If your pH balance is off. This is your sign right here, right now. If a man is throwing your pH balance off, it's because somebody else's pH balance is not balanced or somebody else's pH balance is on his balance. And then his balance got somebody else's on there. And then they coming up to you. And then you, you know, nice healthy queen in the mix. <laughs> you in the mix. You in the mix, baby. And we don't want that. The minute your pH balance is off, and I'm talking about any different smell, anything, cut it off. Because he's, he's, and I hate to break it to you, but somebody, I wish somebody would've told me. I knew though, I told me, and I wasn't listening, and I still kept that man around me, and he left me four days before Valentine's Day. And I'm not gonna be proud and sad about it because why? Because I'm still going on a date on Valentine's Day. It might not be with him and it might not be with another man, but I'm gonna take myself out. But yeah, so I can't think of no more red flags, but that should be enough. If anything that I mentioned in this video is triggering to you, if you thought of that person that you with, time to go sis. And if he is for you, he gonna come back. They always come back though. So you need to be able to tell the difference between them. Because if they come back, you're fine. Of course they gonna come back, they gonna come back. But if you put your foot down and you stand firm on what, what you're doing, if they coming back and with the energy and they show you in a consistent amount of energy being shown, then maybe they're for you. But if they come back, they good for a little minute, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate to cut them off. Don't have no kids until you know. Let's save the world. We tired of these. That's another topic for another day, y'all. But anyway, y'all, that's all I got for y'all today. Um, more voyages, I know it's hard to like cut off somebody that you really like or you love. But understand that no love is exhausting. No love is gonna make you feel like you're begging, you constantly pleading for somebody to do something, for somebody to act a certain way. Like, you don't have to try, you know? You don't have to try so hard for love. And I wish that somebody would've told me that. And don't be afraid to detach from things and people that's not giving you what you desire because you deserve it. You really do. You don't have to put up with nobody. You don't have to make room for nobody because when it comes to you, nobody's making room for you. They're going to live and do exactly what they want to do. So they're not going to make room for you. They're not going to plead and try to understand you. They're not going to do none of that because it's their life. And you need to start taking advice from them and living, not taking advice from them, but looking at what they're doing and living it out for yourself because you will get your feelings hurt out here in this, in this cold weather day. But yeah, case closed, y'all. If I name anything that that man was doing in the video, cut him off. If he come back, good. Yeah, you're going to be sad about it, but go get your hair done. Go to the beauty supply. You only need about $20. And if you don't have $20, then we need to be trying to figure out what we can do to get us some money, get our money up. That's the first thing that you need to be focused on. Then, once you get your hair done, once you're feeling good about yourself, 
don't contact him. Don't contact him in a moment of sadness or weakness. Don't break up so it's not, no. Don't do none of that, okay? Be done. Figure out what you want to do with your life and do it. Stand to toes on what it is that you want to do. I don't care what it is. You go hard in that and you put all your emotion and all your pain into that. And let's see how much we boss up. And that's it for today. Talk to y'all later. Bye.